Good morning, hey yo, what's good? It's your boy Wolfie. Welcome back to more Wolfie. I have a pimple on my lip and it's fucking annoying me. Today we are bringing the dogs to the vet in the morning. Wolfie has to go get checked up and Prince has to go get his first checkup. Hopefully they're healthy. My mom has to go out and warm the car up because I don't want to bring Prince outside. He doesn't have a coat or anything, so I gotta make sure he's nice and warm on the ride up. I'm gonna shove him right in the goose. You might be part of the goose, buddy. I might even make you just part of the jacket. I didn't have the best sleep, but apparently Prince had a pretty good sleep, so. And if he didn't have a good sleep, he was just waking up and whining. Prince is doing way better than Wolfie Jr. at the vet. Wolfie's crying, even though nothing happened to Wolfie. Prince is kicked back in my jacket, in the blanket, with his shirt on, he's warm. Nothing's wrong with him, so that's good. Now we just gotta get Wolfie his balls cut off. Another day, another double upload, another late night vlog session. Y'all already know what it is. I didn't have any time to vlog today. When I edit videos, they always take way longer than I actually expect them to. Like, I'm like, oh, it's gonna take a few hours, and then it ends up taking me the entire day, so. It's nine o'clock, but we are not wasting any time. Tomorrow, I pick up the new car, and because I'm trading in the M6 for the new car, I'm also trading the wheels with the car, so I have to pick up the wheels and the rims that I got done. Never got a chance to put on my car, but they're sitting in my parents' garage. Gotta scoop those so that I'm ready tomorrow morning. Here they are guys, the sexy tires I never got to put on my car, but oh, okay. This doesn't do it justice, this is upside down. Let me turn it right side up, hold up. Look at how badass these would have been on the car guys. Black, gloss, I mean, I didn't get the tires done on these ones yet. The blacked out BMW logo, but the rim itself, gloss black, oh my god, that's so sexy. I wish I got to put them on the old car. <laughs> I'll miss you guys, okay? I'm cheesed. Time to load these bad boys up. Okay, Wolf fam, we're officially taking over. Bongo told me before I rolled to the boys' house, he's like, yo, I've been going into chats on Periscope and asking who Ryan Swayze is. This is bigger than I ever imagined, guys. Literally everybody in Periscope that we go into a chat with is like, why do people keep asking that? So you guys are asking a lot, clearly, to the point where everybody that Bongo goes into chat with Bro, knows Ryan Swayze already. Let's see, let's see if this one works. The girl that we were just in the chat with said it. Okay, we'll try another one. Yeah, just try some random. Guys, I promise this is not staged. We're going into random. Random chats. I wish I had the camera on before this. Oh, this girl's smoking. She definitely knows Ryan. Ryan, no. Oh, no. Uh, lucky. Uh, lucky. Lucky. She doesn't know Ryan. This girl sways nation. She sways nation. <laughs> oh, God. Here we go. Come on. She's not even looking at the camera. I know. I'm cheap. Stop biting me. This guy's so hyper. Guys, I promise you, we were in a chat and the girl's like, why do people. Oh, okay. It's done. They're calling someone? I'm cheesed. Though. Yo, why are you going on Periscope if you're not even paying attention to the camera? I can't do this. This dog is biting my hand off. Fuck. Bro, okay, you know what? We'll be back when someone actually pays attention to their screen. That's what Periscope's for, by the way, guys. Okay, she's looking at the camera. Oh my god. I don't know Ryan Ways. <laughs> Oh jeez! She called him Ryan Waze. Oh, I heard it myself. Oh, Ryan Waze. Yeah, this girl. If this doesn't work, you heard it. I don't even know. You, you witnessed it this. Minimum, I'd say minimum four times. Okay, because Bongo legit called me. He's like, yeah, bro, yeah, bear people. I was upstairs when I heard it. Ryan Swayze. Yeah, I do. Ah, she knows him. She said, she said I, "No, you don't." <laughs> I'm gonna say, "No, you don't." If she, no, no, no. But she that name just sound familiar. I don't think I know who that is. Okay. <laughs> is he a rapper? <laughs> Okay, you don't know who the fuck that is. Oh bro, we need to find this, this one, this one, this one. I know. Okay, if this doesn't work, I don't even know, bro. <sighs> Saying as soon as the camera turns on and you try to show That's your friends it. something cool, it just doesn't happen. No, I do not. <laughs> That's over. It's over now. We'll wait till Ryan Swayze gets back, use him for good luck, and then hopefully it happens. I shit you not, guys. We just turned the camera off and got like three in a row. So I'm just gonna leave the camera on and hopefully we get something. Look at that. What does that say? Why are people Why are people asking that? <laughs> Bro, I'm screenshotting that. Okay, bless. Laugh my ass off. Ooh. Why are people boom, asking boom, that? Boom, boom. Yeah, evidence. You didn't even okay. see it, but the comment evidence. section. Okay, okay. Okay, now we're on a roll. Well, here Let's we get go, it. here we go. Change of plan, guys. It is actually a shootout right now. Canada going head to head with the States. This is about to be huge. Here we go. Let's get it. That music needs to chill. Beow, beow. <laughs> On some wolfy music. The goalies are mad nervous right now, for sure. Hey, you come here. Come here, flip coins. You know that series, Bad Lip Reading? Yeah, they're both shaking their boots all right. Let's do it. Canada with the first save. Yeet. None of that. We're having none of that. Let's go, Canada. Canada missed the shot. States. Oh, what a save. Second shot missed by the States. Let's go. Can Canada come back with a fucking dangle goal? Let's go. Let's go, Canada. Oh. 
Brock miss. Here we go. Let's see what they got. Ooh, glove on. Let me again. take that. Let me take that. Look at this guy's reaction time. The guy's like, nah. Dude. Canada up again. Let's do it. Let's go, bro. No. Oh my god. How did he god. save oh, that? These goalies are phenomenal. Jesus Christ. Three saves. Look at this. That was nice. Oh. Second last shot. This guy's gonna try to go five hole. Five hole? Yeah. Come on, Canada. He scored five hole. I'm cheese. How do you know he's going five hole? Bro, he scored three five or uh, five hole shots. He just goes quick. He scored three of them in the shootout yesterday. Oh, what? Yeah. So he's a five hole man. Mm -hmm. uh. Oh! Wow! Oh! Oh my God! <laughs> if the state scores this next goal, they win. Oh, oh my God! Come on! Come on! Come on! Nice save! Nice save! Oh my let's god! Go. Okay, let's go. So Who's up? That's you it. gotta make this. Yeah. Oh! This is it, Canada. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, you're oh a fucking Oh my goof. god! You're a goof, bro! What are you saying? No! No, 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 no. Uh. <laughs> no. No! No, no, no. <laughs> That's a wrap, guys. So guys, mission accomplished. I just got back to my house from the boys' house. We were on Periscope for honestly, I'd say maybe an hour and a half to two hours, making sure every single person on Periscope knew who Ryan Swayze is by the end of the night. It got to the point where everybody was getting blocked, like all my supporters were getting blocked, all Ryan Swayze nation were getting blocked, and mad people were sending us screenshots on Twitter. It was lit, and it was to the point where every chat when you go in it and you commented, do you know Ryan Swayze? They were like, ah, oh, not again. <laughs> So it was fun as hell, we're doing it again sometime soon because everybody needs to know who Ryan Swayze is. Anyways, I'm home now for the rest of the night. I'm not doing too much, but I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an introduction to Prince because I never really gave you too much information on the dog before. So guys, meet Prince. This guy is little. How old is Prince? Like six, seven weeks? Nine weeks? 10 weeks. This guy's 10 weeks old and he is this small. I think we got Wolfie Jr. at 14 weeks. Are you peeing? Don't be peeing, buddy. He is honestly tiny. This, just to show you this in my hand, my hand is bigger than this dog, guys. He is tiny. Way smaller than Wolfie Jr. when we got him. So we named him Prince because he's a prince. There's no other reason. We just really like the name Prince. It definitely suits him. Because he's a prince, you know? Because he's a little prince, right? A prince. Look at that, he kisses too. Basically, he's a Morky, so it means he's a Maltese Yorkie mix. Wolfie Jr. is just a teacup Maltese, but this guy is not a teacup, but a micro teacup, which is even smaller than a teacup. So he's a little more expensive, but, but he doesn't get as big as Wolfie Jr. is right now. Wolfie Jr., I'm pretty sure, is fully grown right now. He's not gonna get any bigger. This guy is expected to be even smaller than Wolfie Jr. He's gonna look a little different. His ears are gonna be pointed because he's more Yorkie than he is Maltese. So yeah, we got Prince because Wolfie Jr. needed company this guy's always always lonely he needs a buddy to play with because me and Sylvia are so busy and we always try and play with him as much as possible but puppies have so much energy so he just always wants to just get up bite you and play tug of war and play fetch with you so this is our best option we wanted to get him a playmate because he doesn't get out too much to go to dog parks. And especially now that it's winter, Wolfie Jr. isn't gonna be able to play with other dogs for in a while. Even though he's met David's dog and a few other little dogs, we thought why not just get him a friend that he can have at the house at all times. So in a few weeks, hopefully Prince will be a little bit bigger to the point where they can play together. Cause right now Prince is just like, ah, get Wolfie away from me. I'm too small for this. All Prince has been doing for the couple of days that we've had him for, the first day he was really quiet. And then the second day this guy opened up right away. He's been super hyper chasing us eating lots of food, pooping all over the house, peeing all over the house. He's not trained yet. But he also naps a lot because he's still just a little puppy, which is good because you can just put him on your lap. But he does not like to get put on the ground now. Basically, like, he's like Wolfie Jr. when he was a puppy. So watch this. I'm just gonna show you. Bye, Prince. You walk away and this guy will yell so loud. You put him in this cage for a bit, just while we're like cleaning and vacuuming the house. This guy will scream. He has such a loud bark. I didn't know he had that. It's like this, he's just this little creature. Oh, he's so tired right now. He didn't even get up. Bo, Bo, watch this. Come here. Come here, Prince. You put him on the ground and he will follow you wherever you go. See what I mean, guys? He's like, oh, is that food? No, nope, I gotta follow my owner. Come here. Come here, Prince. And that's how he walks. It's the cutest thing. 
Good boy. And he likes cuddling up like under under my armpit and like in tight areas where he's covered. Like watch, I'll open this up. He's like, ah, fine. Weight wise, Prince is, we just got a measure because we took him to the vet today. He is 0.6 kilos, which is one pound, around one pound, he's one pound. Literally one pound, like, come on. Like I was saying, he's not gonna get much bigger, but apparently he's supposed to be, well, he's expected to be two to three pounds, which is quite small. So we're gonna have some pretty small dogs. I was I was always against small dogs, like I always wanted bigger dogs. I wanted a husky, and then I was like, nah, I can get a Pomsky, because it's basically like a smaller husky. But just our living scenario and how we live, and how I feel like I'm gonna be living in condos and stuff like that for a while, I feel like just having small dogs is the best route to go about. If I had a big dog in this house, it would tear shit up. I mean, I can handle a few poops and pees here and there, but. I could not handle a dog tearing open my house. Also, I saw a lot of comments in yesterday's vlog. People thought I was neglecting Wolfie Jr. I'm not neglecting Wolfie Jr. I just brought Wolfie Jr. to the boys' house and we were kicked back for like three hours while I left Prince here. I just put Wolfie Jr. in this cage while, while we were feeding Prince because Wolfie was trying to get at the food. And this guy wants to play with Prince constantly and he doesn't know his own size, even though he's small. So he just runs at him. I'll show you, watch this. Watch this, guys. This is why we need to keep them separated for now. I will let him smell Prince, but sometimes he gets a little too excited. Like watch, he's just hopping there. I'll put Prince on the ground, Prince will be there, but look at this. Wolfie just wants to sniff him, and when Prince tries running away, Wolfie will go off. Wolfie, <laughs> like look, Prince is just like, leave me alone. This is not even bad at all. As soon as Prince starts moving, Wolfie will like jump, and then sometimes push him over because he doesn't know his own size, so we don't keep them apart completely right now. But while Prince is eating, we don't let Wolfie near him, and while Wolfie's eating, we don't let Prince near him. For now, right buddy? Good boy, you're a good, you're a good big brother. Hey. And yeah, this is just until Prince gets bigger, so you need to get bigger quicker, buddy. Well, Wolfie's a good big bro, but don't bite, Wolfie. We taught you not to bite. And this guy was biting all day long at the boy's house. This guy was like nibbling on my arm so bad. Hey, Prince, come here. Watch this, I'll put Prince up here. Oh, Wolfie jumps up, sniffs him instantly. He's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Prince gets overwhelmed. He's like, leave me alone. So yeah, they're actually not too bad together right now, but Prince is still climbing under my shirt. Until Prince gets a bit bigger, we're gonna let them eat separately, right? Hey, oh, here we go. The biting is back, guys. Wolfie Jr. biting is back. You see it, you see the mouth. Look at those teeth now. Your teeth are so big, ow. See, you can't do that to Prince. If you do that to Prince, Prince is gonna be hurt. Anyways, I just wanted to update you guys quickly about the dog. You don't even lick him. I swear Wolfie's more scared of Prince than Prince is of Wolfie. Oh, there we, <gasps> I've never seen Wolfie lick him. I've never seen Wolfie lick him. This is the first, guys. You're seeing it on cam. Big brother moment. Wow, good boy, Wolfie. Good, okay, not biting. Like I was saying, guys, I just wanted to update you on the dogs and the whole dog situation as well as the car situation yesterday. So now you're pretty much updated on everything. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to pick up the new car and trade in the M6. I'm super excited for that, but that also means I have to be up early again. So I'm gonna end the vlog off there. If you guys enjoyed this shorter vlog, do not forget to go down and smash that like button. We hit 25,000 likes on every vlog because Wolf Fam is the most fucking lit crew in the world. You already know. Also, if you guys made it to the very end of the vlog, if you wanna show me that you're active and maybe you know, I'll toss you a follow if you leave your Instagram or your Twitter in the comments. So if you want to follow, comment down below. Prince is the real MVP. Okay, Prince, that's it. Prince is the real MVP, and I will see you guys soon on more Wolfie, where we stay a little bit more savage than my main channel. And as always, stay savage. Let go.